Yorkwear Australia bringing you the juniors as Casey Collins says, let's go folks. Joel Berkeley sets sail after him and Jack Cameron. And they have opened up already a little bit of a lead back to Dakota Laverty as on the outside goes Jack Cameron. Cameron, have a look at the boy. Right up high on the fence, says to Casey Collins, come on. Here I come, Casey Collins, the race leader. On the outside of him, Jack Cameron, side by side around the western corner. Cameron gets a little bit high up towards the fence where there's a little bit of loose stuff. Loses traction, allowing Joel Berkeley to get back in contention down on the inside. But Jack Cameron is going to stay up high on the racetrack. Next one through will be Todd Atkins trying to get up involved in this little argument as well. Dakota Laverty is there and then Eric Wallace. They go underneath the control tower again in the feature final for the junior sedans here tonight. And right now Casey Collins holds sway at the moment over Jack Cameron staying up high on the racetrack. Joel Berkeley would be the next one. Then we've got Todd Atkins and on the outside of him is Dakota Laverty and Eric Wallace. We go back then to Casey O'Connell. We've got a yellow light because we've got a couple of cars in trouble right up against the fence coming out of turn number four. Collins versus Jack Cameron versus Joel Berkeley. Off and racing, Todd Atkins would be the next one and then Dakota Laverty, Eric Wallace to the better of Casey O'Connell and then car number eight is... Uh, Mitchell Parmenter up there involved as well. We got a yellow one again. Casey Collins leads them away to the better of Jack Cameron. Joel Berkeley gets mobile very quickly. Back then we go to Todd Atkins, Dakota Laverty and Eric Wallace. Casey O'Connell would be the next one. The lead cars are already heading down the main chute to go underneath the control tower once again and it's still Casey Collins to the better of Jack Cameron who's not too far away Cameron staying higher on the racetrack Joel Berkeley dropped out of contention a little bit back then to uh, uh, Todd Atkins it would be but we've got a challenge up the front Casey Collins has got Jack Cameron working away on the inside Cameron's there Collins on the outside, can't do anything about it. The Rocky car, Jack Cameron, has taken the race lead around the western corner. Can he stay out there? Really got some momentum going as they head down underneath the control tower once again. Jack Cameron to the better of Casey Collins, back then to Joel Berkeley in front of uh, Todd Atkins. Next one would be Dakota Laverty, Eric Wallace, and then we've got Mitchell Parmenter and he's starting to move away. Jack Cameron starting to put some distance between himself and Casey Collins. Joel Berkeley interested in something better than third and uh, Todd Atkins would be the next one. Those four opened up a little bit of a lead back to uh, Dakota Lamity as Casey Collins goes a little wide and comes back down on Joel Berkeley. Berkeley was having a look down the inside. So Collins dropping off the pace just a little bit. Joel Berkeley has now got Todd Atkins right on his boot lid. And Dakota Laverty on the outside looks for a way around Todd Atkins. Can she do it as they head down the main straightaway? It's Dakota Laverty up high on the concrete. We got a yellow light. Get the front of the pack. Casey Collins not too far away, neither is Joel Berkeley. Outside the witch's hat we go again as the green one is shown. And here comes Casey Collins straight down the inside. It doesn't work because down on the inside of the track it's a bit rough. Trying to get up high on the race track is Todd Atkins. Todd Atkins looking for an outside pass around Joel Berkeley. Berkeley tries to shut the door on him and is successful in doing so by drifting across the track a little bit. But no doubt about our race leader, Jack Cameron. Have a look at the young guy go. He's opened up a big lead back to Casey Collins. A bit of a gap back then to Joel Berkeley, who's in a battle royal 
with Todd Atkins trying to get involved in that scrap is Dakota Laverty this time Atkins comes down the inside of Berkeley not to any good there race leader Jack Cameron has putting some distance between himself and Casey Collins as they go around the western corner and Joel Berkeley has driven straight up underneath Casey Collins who left a big gap down on the inside Collins fights back can he keep him at bay Joel Berkeley down on the inside side by side they are then we've got Todd Atkins on the inside Dakota Laverty on the outside and Mitchell Palmer joining in so we've got them two and three wide down the main straight away as the uh, yellow light comes on again because we've got a car in the concrete wall down the back chute Jack Cameron Casey Collins Joel Berkeley and Todd Atkins Dakota Laverty's in there is it Mitchell Parmenter ah oh, we've got them wide coming underneath the uh, underneath the witch's hat will that bring on some angry words from the steward side by side round the western corner Casey Collins heads down the main straight away three laps remaining he down on the inside shuts the door on uh, Jack Cameron Cameron though stays there thank you very much he says Jack Cameron versus Casey Collins around the western corner Collins up high on the racetrack has enough drive up there to get away from Jack Cameron down the main straight away two laps remaining in the event Casey Collins Jack Cameron Joel Berkeley Dakota Laverty's got herself up for fourth staying high on the racetrack having a look on the outside of uh, Joel Berkeley back then we go to Todd Atkins down the main straight away yellow light again this time a bit of a problem in the western corner and the chequered flag has been displayed and uh, unofficially unofficially Casey Collins Jack Cameron and Joel Berkeley